Hey. Hey, you. Up in that tree. Do you want to learn to aim like this? Down one tourist. Or this? Got what about like this? Oh, you little fuck. Wait, how did that clip get in there? Uh, <clears throat> um, mm, uh, no, 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 I meant like this. God, he's got a rifle. Yeah. Well, why don't you come on down from that tree and I'll show you. Come on. Come on now. It's okay, buddy. All right. <laughs> Dr. Pooplove here, and I have 10 tips to help you improve your aim and win more gunfights in The Last of Us Multiplayer. And you're going to want to stick around until the end because tip number 10 is something I don't think a lot of people are thinking about. But let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is find the sensitivity that works best for you. Sensitivity is how fast or slow your aiming reticle moves while you're aiming, with zero being the slowest and 10 being the fastest. Rather than try to use the same sensitivity as your favorite YouTuber, you're better off finding out what works best for you because you can be a beast with just about any sensitivity. I would recommend using a default of five and playing several games with just that. And if you feel your aim is going too slowly, then bump it up by one. If you feel it's going too fast, then bump it down by one. Play another several games using these new settings and repeat the process until you feel comfortable with where you are. Once you are comfortable, stay there and be consistent. It doesn't mean you can't ever change it again, but the worst thing you can do is constantly change your sensitivity back and forth because you will never then develop the muscle memory you need to advance further and get better. The second critical tip I have for you is to use your camera to your advantage by pre-aiming. When you scope in, your reticle appears on the center of the screen in the exact same place you were looking when you weren't scoped in. So knowing this, you should always be using your camera to your advantage before you scope in. If you're behind cover, center your camera to where you want to shoot before you scope in. If you're walking around, try to keep your camera centered around head level so that you are ready if anyone pops out. Doing this is going to set you up for more success and accuracy. Tip number three is to use the drag shot in combination with aim assist to hit more shots. This game has some pretty significant aim assist. When your reticle pans over an enemy, it slows down slightly and kind of magnetizes towards the enemy. You can use this to your advantage with the drag shot. Once scoped in your reticle, drag your reticle over to the enemy and fire when it begins to slow down. This is actually really kind of hard to see with the naked eye, so you really need to just kind of develop a muscle memory for this to get the timing right, but using this technique helps you hit shots you didn't even know were possible. My next tip for you is to aim for the head as much as possible. Not only do headshots do more damage and thus will help you win more gunfights, but the head is obviously a smaller target. By consciously going for the head, you are challenging yourself to improve your accuracy to hit the intended targets. Practice truly makes perfect, so go for the head as much as possible. Remember this moment? Listen to me. If I get into trouble down there, you make every shot count. Yeah. I got this. Ah, great moment. But I want you to take this thinking and bash it over the head with a 7-iron. Instead, listen to this wise sage. The point I'm trying to make is that although ammo is scarce in this game, you need to take the shot as much as possible. You are going to miss some shots, and that's okay but you will begin to make more shots than you even think is possible if you just default your thinking to pulling the trigger. One strategy to conserve your ammo to make up for this is only get supply boxes when you are low 
and also don't be afraid to spend some parts purchasing ammo. If you will do this, you will begin to see that it is worth it. Also, I really do love Joel, so Naughty Dog, why do you have to go and do him like that? Tip number six is to use the perks that help with your aim. Sharpshooter 3 is going to be your best friend here. Not only do you get 25 health back from headshots, making it easier to win gunfights, but damage wobble is reduced by 65%. This is, in my opinion, the best part about this perk. When you are shot without sharpshooter, your aim goes sky high because of the pain wobble, and so having this reduction allows you to control your aim and win more gunfights, even when the enemy shoots you first. Hawkeye 2 is also useful to help you track enemies and know exactly where to aim, and awareness and sharp ears can also be useful to help spot enemies more easily. The next three tips involve movement tricks that you can implement to be a harder target and buy more time to get your shots in. But before we get there, if you like this video so far, please teabag that subscribe button. Tip number seven is to use the duck shot. While engaged in a firefight, press circle and duck midway through to throw the enemy off. Tip number eight is to use the pop shot. While standing or crouching behind cover, pre-aim and sporadically scope and unscope in, firing as you aim to get your shots in and be a harder target. Tip number nine is to use the wiggles. If you're in between shots, switching weapons, or reloading, wiggle back and forth to be a harder target while setting yourself up to fire back. Tip number 10 is something I don't think a whole lot of people think about, but that is to... Consider investing in a good monitor that has low input lag. Input lag is a lag that occurs between pressing a button on your controller and seeing that action occur on your screen. I first started playing Factions on PS3 and I played on a CRT TV, one of those big old TVs, which actually had virtually no input lag. And I felt like a beast on the PS3. So when I started playing on PS4, my players started feeling sluggish and I felt like I lost my mojo. Well, maybe I did lose my edge a bit, but part of this was definitely because I was playing on a TV with high input lag. Once I did finally get a gaming monitor, I felt back in control of my character and my aim and my responsiveness started improving again. If you really want to improve your aim, I recommend looking into a gaming monitor with a low input lag, or at least seeing if your TV has game mode. And there it is, 10 tips to help you improve your aim and win more gunfights. Start putting these tips into practice, and let me know in the comments how it works out for you. Until next time, Pooper Troopers.